This place holds a lot of, a lot of memories for me. My great-grandfather planted the trees. I taught school just up the block here, two blocks. Connor was a born leader. And from a very early age, he knew that he wanted to do something. Um, and wanted to be a public servant and wanted to make things better for people, like, like his mom, who, um, who struggled at times. As a single mom, when I, when I moved into this house, Connor had to take on added responsibilities. These steps were a place where we had lots of conversations. Sometimes I'd be crying and he'd come out just to um, console me. Sometimes we'd be talking about, you know, what we needed to do or, or maybe there was a problem. I think it gave him a strong sense of, of life, of, of real life, and the plight of so many of us that you know, that just work hard just, just to make ends meet. The thing about Connor is he was the most passionate young kid I think I'd ever seen. If there was somebody in his class that was having a bad day, Connor was the first one to try to help them out. I was uh, Connor's ninth grade science teacher. As a new teacher, uh, I kind of had to up my game a little bit when Connor came along. He enjoys looking for answers to problems and he is adamant about finding it and I haven't seen him quit yet. <laughs> it's funny, I had an opportunity to run in a cafe with Connor growing up. Uh, we were running in junior high for the student council and uh, he was my running mate. Just knowing him back then and knowing him now, I know he's, uh, he's always served people. He, his heart is as big as anyone that I know. Uh, he will do anything for anybody and I think he's carried that on you know, in his career. And I know he'll continue to do that in whatever capacity that he's blessed to be in. I, I think he um, sees injustices and it distresses him and he knows that things can be better. I love being a prosecutor. Uh, you get to wake up every day and do what's right, really do justice and do the right thing. I remember the first case that I prosecuted and it involved uh, a five-year-old little boy who saw his father beat his mother in a horrible domestic violence situation. And I've never stopped thinking about that little boy because that's the future of our state. And we've got to reach kids like him and really give them a chance. I'm proud to have started the A Chance program in six counties in Arkansas that makes sure that kids in homes that police visit uh, receive the help they need to have a chance in life. Connor is not afraid of standing alone. He's not afraid of being on his own, and he has the confidence to do that. He doesn't have to have people patting him on the back all the time, um, except maybe his mom. Family legend is that my great-grandfather started Elder Supply with a knapsack full of tractor parts in 1933 in the Great Depression, and it's grown into a business that's been active in agriculture in East Arkansas for a long time. When Connor was, oh, probably 10 or 11 years old before he moved to Lone Oak, he, uh, and his cousin Mark worked at Eldridge Supply in the shop some, and they uh, learned a lot from my father. I'm proud that my family's been rooted in agriculture for a long time in Arkansas. In Augusta, in the farm equipment business, in Lone Oak, with the rice, soybean, and wheat farm. My grandfather on the farm in Lone Oak taught me the values of honesty and hard work and dedication. You know, the best thing about working for a community bank in small town Arkansas is that you got to go into a business and really talk with that business owner about their needs. And if you want to talk about growing jobs, you want to talk about how we increase jobs in our state, you need to start with a conversation with the business owner. And as a community banker, it was my job to go in and talk with that business owner and help them come up with a solution for growing their business. And I'm proud that I got to do that work and I'll certainly take that with me every day as a U.S. Senator. You know, when I first met Connor, I was just really drawn to how friendly he was to everyone. He had such a good balance with um, hard work, but also having fun. The most challenging part of raising a family is when we got to the point where we were outnumbered by the kids. Connor's a great dad. He really works hard to meet the boys where they are. If they have an interest in something, he takes an interest in what they're interested in. We try to teach them kindness. We try to teach them honesty. I would say those are the two most important values for us to instill in them. He is such a hard worker. He's so determined, but he does it in a very kind way. And I think he would make a great United States Senator.